Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. Uh, this is something what I do. Uh, basically, I use After Effects for graphic design. And I think this is something new as because uh, mostly people use Photoshop and I do not prefer Photoshop. I think After Effects is faster and if you have similar type of graphics, uh, for example, if you want to uh, use it for social media purpose and and uh, if you want to use it as thumbnail on your videos uh, then uh, after effects can be very much handy as it is fast and you can do similar type of changes like uh, if, if you just want to update your background or any uh, graphics or image you can do it easily with after effects so let's get started uh, firstly we need to understand the composition uh, I believe uh, you already know but uh, if you don't know I'm just giving you uh, a bit of hint uh, uh, if you click here then you you can uh, select a new composition and for new composition you need to uh, give your uh, width and height and it should be in pixel and for the duration uh, it is up to you so if you uh, create a graphics and and then you can animate it this is on the plus point so uh, we have uh, 8 second and 1920 by 1080 and I will hit ok and you can set your composition name ok now firstly what I'll do I'll uh, can get an image okay so uh, I'll go to unsplash as it is free so I'll choose uh, if there is something exciting here Uh, we'll choose this image. Uh, I'll download it. Okay. Now, what I'll do, I will just create another composition for it, and I will uh, I'll limit image one, and to the same resolution. Okay. Now, what I'll do, I will scale it down. okay so I'm right now I'm just going to create a a banner for this course okay so I'll select the image one and if you wanted you can even you know just drag and drop it here it would it would work as the same but uh, there is a reason and I'll show you why now I will uh, hit this option title action save so that I have So what I'll do, I will just hit title and save action so that I have uh, the box so that uh, I can design within the box. Okay, so this is something you don't get on Photoshop. You have to create it uh, by uh, using ruler. This is what I think. And this is what you can also do here. Uh, press Control R and you'll get this option, the ruler okay so right now we do not need it so our title of this course will be graphic design with after effects so here is your option okay so that you can align your text so I want it from left side and I want uh, I also want to change the color so something like this okay now I, I want to change the uh, font
uh, I will go for my one of the favorites, Warm Syrup. And I can also work with the spacing. And I want to increase the size. Uh, if you want, we can also change the colors and I will I will show you some uh, more examples and how we can do it. Uh, now let's Okay, so you can change color using this, but I would use something else for this now. So I'll go to effect, then I'll go to generate, then four color gradient. So now uh, I will have the option to do something funky. So you can also play with this like this. Okay. And if you have a very high resolution graphics, you can uh, work on it uh, pretty much smoothly as uh, there is a option here is full half third. So uh, if it is in quarter, then it will load the initial graphics very fast. Okay. And uh, you, will, you will not face any kind of lagging. So right now it is working quite fine with me. So I'm keeping it full but it, it doesn't matter i can't even keep it quarter but i'm just keeping it full and when i will render it i, I will uh, i will render it in full not in quarter so uh, th this is the initial idea but i still don't like it graphic design with after effects so i will i'll try to use a script font uh, for this word Okay, let's go to the font. Uh, this, this is how I always uh, were uh, uh, get my fonts from. So I'll go to script. I'll write width and see if there is any good font which will look good. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll see uh, I have the gloss and boom font okay let's see I might have it gloss and boom So, uh, I want to write the text with again, uh, but with uh, with a different text layer. So I have the uh, text layer, and I will write with you. I think that's it. And now uh, I'll select another white layer uh, to do to uh, get a solid layer. You need to hit Control Y on your keyboard to get a new solid. Uh, then I'll, I will uh, select this mask tool. Sorry, not this one. I'll go for this one, and then. I'll go to mask and feather it out. 
okay so that the width here uh, it looks more prominent and uh, I'll go to the opacity option and okay there we go and the image here okay I want uh, it a bit uh, from more from the light right side like this and uh, as you can see uh, it's not matching as I have dragged my uh, image in the right side so I'll I'll select another solid layer then uh, click on the dropper then uh, select the inside of the layer so that I can match it eventually it will not 100% match but I'll, I'll show you I'll show you a way so now what I'll do I'll select the mask tool this is the rectangle tool I will select this portion then go to feather so that it matches see so now there we go and I think it is looking so this is how you can create your banner design with after effects and if you want to do some basic uh, text animation it will look more beautiful so that you can use the same graphics uh, on Instagram uh, or any other social media as uh, video banners and uh, you can also use it uh, on your a video intro so it will be effective so if you want to learn more check my other text animation videos thank you